This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the winter edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We're so happy that you can join us because we have four great teams ready to play in this show. You're going to see the first game, Ada takes on Continental, and a little bit later, Delphus St. John's will face off against Lipsick. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Ada. We have with us Austin Ambergie, Terry Sheridan, Alex Hurtig, and Noah Pinckney. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, turning now to Continental. Joining us is Nick Koenig, Garrett Recker, Riley Fenter, and Connor Mag. And Continental is coached by Nathan Schmidt. Welcome to all of you as well. All right, everyone, we have 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece. Let's get the buzzers ready. It's really important that you speak up as loudly as you can and also make sure that your answers are as complete as possible. We have our judge with us, Mark Dickman. We're so grateful to have him with us and hopefully we won't have to turn to him, but um, we just wanna make sure that you are as complete as you can be with your answers. All right, ready? Question number one. Who was the first NASA astronaut to visit space twice? Yes, that would be Ada. Glenn? Sean Glenn Lane. is incorrect. So Continental, you can try this one. Yes. Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin, also incorrect. Gus Grissom is the answer there. All right, question number two. Which sport are you playing if you are using balls numbered one through 15? Yes, Continental. Pool. Pool is correct. All right, question three. The olfactory nerve relays sensory data to the brain and it's responsible for this sense. Yes, that would be Ada. Smell. Smell is correct. Question number four. Name the canal that links the Caribbean to the Pacific Ocean. Yes, Ada. The Panama Canal. Panama Canal is correct. Question number five. What are the tallest trees in the world? Yes, that would be Continental. The redwood trees? That is incorrect. So Ada, you want to try it? Yes. Acacia? Acacia also incorrect. It's the giant sequoias. All right, question number six. In what year did Lewis and Clark reach the Pacific Ocean? Yes, that would be Ada. 1804? That is incorrect. Continental, you want to try? Yes. 1806. That is also incorrect. It's 1805. All right. Question seven. The Model T was introduced by what entrepreneur? Yes, that would be Continental. Henry Ford. Henry Ford is correct. Okay, three questions remaining in round one. Name the human main character in the Jungle Book. Yes, Continental. Um, Mowgli. Mowgli is the answer. What is the next pace up from a horse's walk? Trot. Yes, trot is correct for Continental. And your last question in the first round. Name the scientific study of the human race. Ada. Anthropology. Anthropology is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. We have a tie. Ada and Continental, both with 30 points. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu. And by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928.
righty, our scores were incomplete going into the break. Here's the correct score. Continental, you have 40 points, Ada with 30. That means, Continental, you're going to lead this next round. You will have five questions. They're all yours, worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? Number one, how many valves do most trumpets have? Yes. Three. Three is the answer. Which two numbers are used in binary code? Yes. Zero and one. You are correct, Continental. All right, question number three. In which town do the Simpsons live? Yes. Springfield. Springfield is the answer. All right, question four. In what year did the California gold rush begin? Yes, Continental. 1846. That is incorrect. It's 1848. All right, last question in your round. Who drafted much of the Declaration of Independence? Benjamin Franklin. That is incorrect. We are looking for Thomas Jefferson with that answer. Okay, let's turn to Ada now for your five questions. Again, please ring in with your answers. How many lines does a limerick have? Yes. Four. Four is incorrect. It's five. All right. Give the name of the famous New York City transit station on 42nd Street in Manhattan. Yes. Grand Central Station. That is correct. All right. What is the Italian word for the square or marketplace? Yes. Plaza. Plaza is incorrect. I heard it though over here, unfortunately, it's Piazza. All right, your fourth question, which state is known as the volunteer state? Yes. Vermont. Incorrect, the answer is Tennessee. All right, here's your final question in the second round. Which branch of mathematics deals with the sides and angles of triangles and their relationship to each other? Yes. Trigonometry. Trigonometry is correct, Ada. All right, here is our score now. Ada, you have 40 points. Continental, you have 55. Our final round now, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. It's a close game. Is everybody ready with the buzzers? All right, here we go. What M word was the biblical traveling wise men also known as? Yes, that would be Ada. Magi. Magi is correct. Name the pigment that gives vegetation its green color. Yes, Ada. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is correct. What is the staple diet of the silkworm? Yes, Ada. Leaves. All right, that is incorrect. Continental, you have a chance with this one. Yes. Eucalyptus leaves. Incorrect. The answer here is mulberry leaves. Okay, question number four in this final round. What are the three colors on the flag of Ireland? Yes, Ada. Orange, green, and white. That is correct. All right, question number five. What is the only chess piece allowed to jump over others? Ada. The knight. Knight is the answer. Question number six. What newspaper does Clark Kent or Superman work for? That Daily, would be Ada. The Daily Planet. Daily Planet is the answer. All right, four questions remain in this game between Ada and Continental. Name the Roman god of the sea. Ada? Neptune. Neptune is correct. What is the last word of the New Testament? Ada. Oh, Revelations book. <laughs> that is incorrect. Continental, you've got a chance here. Yes. World. World is incorrect. The answer is actually amen. All right, two questions remaining here. Who was the author of War and Peace? Yes, Ada. Tolstoy. 
You are correct. All right, last question of your game. How many ounces does a seven pound baby weigh? Ada. 112. 112 ounces is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Ada and Continental. Here's our score, Continental. 55 points. Ada, you came from behind with 120 points. Congratulations, you're moving on. Continental, thank you so much for joining us this season. We'll be back with our second game right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. Ada came up the winner in our first game, so they will eventually take on the winner of this game now between Delphi St. John's and Lipsick. We want to introduce you to the players joining us from Delphi St. John's. We have Caroline Kopak, Zach Heron, Curtis Mueller, and Adam Gerker. And Delphi St. John's is coached by Michelle Stiffy and Kim Honigford. All right, welcome to all of you. Turning now to Lipsick High School, playing for Lipsick, we have Mitchell Schrader, Eric Williamson, Trent Schrader, and Mackenzie Tooman. And Lipsick is coached by Stacy Berger. Welcome to all of you. Okay, I know some of you have never played this before here at TV44, so we want to make sure that you know the rules. We have 10 questions in our first round. We're 10 points apiece. They're up for grabs. Get your buzzers ready. It's really important that you speak up when you answer your questions and be as complete as you can with your answers, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. A design formed from small pieces of colored glass or pottery is called what? Yes, that would be lipstick. A mosaic. Mosaic is the answer. The Six-Day War was fought between the Arab states and what other country? Time is up, teams. The answer is Israel. All right, question three. What I word means to artificially water the land? Yes, Delphus. Irrigate. Irrigate is correct. Question number four. From what animal is mohair obtained? Yes, that would be Delphus. A moose. Moose is incorrect, so Lipsick, you've got a chance with this. Yes. Goat. Goat is correct. All right, question number five. Name the first leader of the Soviet Union after the 1917 Russian Revolution. Yes, Lipsick. Joseph Stalin. Stalin is incorrect. Delphus, you want to try it? Yes. Khrushchev. That is also incorrect. Lenin is the answer. All right, question number six in your game. Identify the famous ancient monuments in Egypt. Yes, Lipsick. The pyramids. Pyramids is correct. All right, number seven. What crime is referred to as larceny? Yes, Lipsick. Theft. Theft is correct. All right, three questions remaining in your first round. In what city would you find the Kremlin? Yes, Delphus. Moscow. Moscow is correct. What is the least powerful piece on a chessboard? Yes, Delphus. Pawn. Pawn is the answer. All right, you have one question remaining in your first round. To what does a conscientious objector object? Yes, Lipsick. Battle, war. War is correct. All right, very good. We've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. 
Delphi St. John's, you have 30 points. Lipsick, you have 50. So that means you are going to lead this next round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? The second atomic bomb used during wartime was dropped on what Japanese city? Yes. Hiroshima. That is incorrect. The answer is Nagasaki. What is the deepest lake in the United States? Yes. Lake Superior. That is incorrect. The answer is Crater Lake. All right, question three. What are the first three words written in the Bible? Yes. In the beginning. In the beginning is correct. Very good. Question four. In the story, who made Pinocchio? Yes. Geppetto. Geppetto is correct. And you have one more question remaining. Ireland suffered the Great Famine beginning in 1845 due to the collapse of what crop? Yes. Potatoes. Potatoes is correct. Very good. All right, moving now to Delphus for your five questions. Again, all yours, but please buzz in. Name the animal and give its name that is on the front of the Fruit Loops cereal box. Yes. A toucan. Terry? That is incorrect. It is Toucan Sam. All right, question two. Name the president of the Confederacy during the American Civil War. Yes. Jackson? That is incorrect. It's Jefferson Davis. All right, three questions remain. In golf, what A word is another name for a double eagle? Yes. Al Alcatraz. That is incorrect. It's albatross. All right. Two questions remain. What do ichthyologists study? Time is up. The answer is fish. All right, your final question in the second round. What nationality was the astronomer Copernicus? Yes. Polish. Polish is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of our first and second rounds. Here is the score. Delphi St. John's, you have 35 points. Lipsick with 65. We'll be back with our final round of 10 questions right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we've got a good game going now between Lipsick and Delphi St. John's. Here's our score. Delphis with 35 points, Lipsick 65. We are entering our third and final round of 10 questions. Teams, they are all up for grabs. We're 10 points apiece. Here we go. What is the Celsius equivalent of 77 degrees Fahrenheit? Yes, Lipsick. 25 degrees. That is correct. All right, number two. Who was the third president of the United States? Yes, Delphus. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is the answer. In what present day country was Leonardo da Vinci born? Yes, that would be Delphus. Italy. Italy is correct. All right, question number four in your game. In the human body, what is the largest artery? Lips. Capillary. Capillary is incorrect. Delta St. John, do you have a chance here? Yes. The cartroid artery? 
That is also incorrect. Aorta is the answer. All right, question number five. What scale is used to test acid, neutral, or alkaline? Yes, that would be Delphus. The acidity scale? That is incorrect. Lipstick, you want to try it? Yes. The pH scale? The pH scale is the answer. All right, moving on to question number six. What is the third letter of the Greek alphabet? Yes, Lipsic. Theta. That is incorrect, so we're going to turn it over to Delphus for your try. Yes. Gamma. Gamma is correct. All right, question number seven. Which planet has moons called Himalaya and Ananka? Lipsic. Neptune. Neptune is incorrect, so Delphus, you've got a shot with this one too. Yes. Jupiter? Jupiter is correct. All right, three questions remaining in this game. Who invented the mercury thermometer? Time is up, teams. The answer is Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. All right, two questions here. Remain in your game. Who was the first U.S. president to ask Congress for a formal declaration of war? Time is up. The answer is James Madison, the War of 1812. All right. It's a tight game. Delphi St. John's with 75 points, Lipsick with 85. We're down to our final question. What is an infant whale called? Delphus. A calf. A calf is correct. All right. We've come to the end of our formal rounds. We have a tied score, both teams with 85 points. We are now moving to sudden death. This means the first person to answer this question wins the game. The first team, I should say. All right, is everybody ready? Who is considered the father of psychoanalysis? Analysis. Yes, that would be Delphus. Freud. Could you be complete with his name? Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is the correct answer. All right, Delphus St. John's, you are the winner. Congratulations, Lipsick. I know that, are all of you first timers? Up here? No, okay. You're the first time. Okay. All right. Well, I want to tell you, you played really well and um, you should be very proud of yourself. So thank you so much for joining us this season. Delphus, congratulations. We'll see you in the future and we'll see you next week. Until then, have a great one. Bye-bye.